since January. I'm looking forward to the season. We had an excellent summer. Um, had an excellent off season, excellent summer, and just looking forward to our next step is camp and looking forward to improving in camp. Are there any, uh, I guess, changes you make to your program in light of what happened in January, or do you just look at it, hey, that was an isolated incident, maybe it was a fluke thing, but no, do you change anything at all? You know, we just, we just went through the, the toughest training time for us is typically June, June mm -hmm. where you're dealing with high volume, high intensity, you're dealing with the challenge of the weather. We had an excellent June and July. Um, you know, over the past 13 years at Iowa, we've had 26 cases where we've come back into a, an off-season training cycle, whether it's winter or, summer, or, um, or summer. And we had a problem, you know, we had a problem in January. And, um, you know, we've moved on. You know, we had a, a group of very intelligent people on campus that were, you know, put put um, put into a position where they would they conducted a root cause analysis. At the end of that root cause analysis, that report was made public, and we've moved on. You know, so we're really looking forward to camp, looking forward to having a hell of a year. How tough was it for you, emotionally, mentally, during all that situation? Well, for you, know, you personally, not yeah, the program. You know, for you, it's not about me. You know, you know, I know the, that, but it's not about me. The bottom line is this: all every single one of those kids was cleared to come back and participate in spring football, which we were told was gonna to happen, and we we're happy to see it happen. The well-being of those athletes is our number one priority period. You know, so, you know, for them to be cleared to participate in spring ball was important. You know, this is a high-profile program, so criticism is gonna come with the territory, and we can't concern ourselves with the opinions of outside people. Our focus is on the people in the building, the people that we work with on a daily basis, the players, first and foremost, their families, the coaches that we work with, and the support staff that we work with on a daily basis. You know, that's our focus. And we've been very happy with our players' commitment to improvement, our players' commitment to sticking together through the whole process has been very impressive. It's been excellent. That's what, you know, gives you confidence moving into fall camp. Do you use, still use that that workout or modification of it, or we're we're gonna we're gonna train we're gonna train with volume we're gonna train with intensity we're gonna prepare these guys to play college football, you know and um, you know Kirk made it very clear when he answered to the media through the winter and into the spring that that um, that's not a program that will reimplement mm -hmm. um, you know it's our job to evolve it's our job to continue to evolve as a program and to learn. And, we certainly will do that, and we're going to continue to do that. Kirk Hedman, sorry, do I have to uh, take it more carefully, easily? Are they up to full speed in the weight room now? And how long did it take them to get there? So, Those the guys that the guys that were affected all participated in spring football, you know. So that that that's that's a history. That's a long that's a long time ago. You know, our, those guys were brought back at a very very careful pace and participated in spring ball and have continued to progress from there. Ed Kirk had said that maybe one of the good things that comes out of this is it was such a an incident where it was not only was it isolated but it wasn't really well known and maybe it had happened at other places and maybe one of the things you guys could do as a program is in the future maybe educate some people about maybe how to prevent it or if it comes up help. Has there been an instance now where anybody's reached out to you and said hey maybe something like this has happened or have you guys made a move to maybe help other people out who've been who might go through something like this? Well, as I said before, we had a, a group of very intelligent people that were that were given the responsibility of doing a root cause analysis. We learned from that 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 report was public. Um, you know, as we move forward, we're going to continue to do our research. We have great people on our sports medicine team, and we'll continue to do our research. And if we can learn more moving forward, we will. Um, I don't think it's right. It's it's um, you know have have we become aware through the process of other other places? Um, you know this happening. And that's none of our, you know, that's that's not our business to discuss. Yeah. So, how do you feel about the way Kirk stood behind you, uh, named you assistant coach of the year? A lot of places would have, for PR purposes alone, would have made a change, but he stuck behind you and, and seems committed to you. You're thinking about Well, if you look at Kirk Ferentz's track record at the University of Iowa, he's been here 13 years. If you look at his stability with his staff. And I think that um, you know we have some pretty intelligent guys on our staff that have been around the block, been around college football. They've had, you know they have some experience, and there's a reason why there's a loyalty to the University of Iowa and a loyalty to Kirk Ferentz. You know it's about who you work with, and um, I think you know we've figured it out in the state of Iowa that that uh, Kirk Ferentz is a special person, and you know we we appreciate that as a staff, and that's why a lot of us stick around. Who are some of the people that 
maybe reached out and talked to you? Um, maybe your peers um, at other schools or, or anybody like that? I, I, no, that does that doesn't. Um, that's not something I'm going to speak about. Sure. You know, we, there's. And, I'm sure there were there were some though. Yeah, was, that we, you know, when um, as I said, you know, when when you when you're faced with some with um, adversity, you know, the people that you're that are close to you, they're gonna they're gonna come they're gonna come to your support, and the support was was uh, was outstanding, and you just continue to pick up and move on.